Congratulations Hi. on your win. This is fabulous. Thanks. The film has won six Oscars I'm... tonight. Many of the recipients have been women like yourself. So you're, I wanted to get your thoughts on women filmmakers and will, uh, working in, on this kind of film and other films like action films in the future. You mean a women underrepresented? I guess that's an understatement. I think there is some prejudice that women can't cut action, but I'm hoping that will change with the Star Wars girls and, and me. Um, you know, I just, you know, I, I, think, I think it'll change. I think it's already changing. Don't you? I, that's my personal feeling. And you just watch in the next 10 years, I think, you know, the balance will come back in our favor, hopefully. Yeah. We're going to 262 and then 122. Hi, Margaret. Angela Bishop from Hi. Network 10 Australia. Congratulations. Hi. It's so wonderful. <laughs> uh, now, George tells us that there is possibly another Mad Max coming not too far down the road. Not if I have anything to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> you did have a little bit of raw material to work yeah. with with this. Would you do it again? Um, are you putting me on the spot here? Yes, I am. Um, um, I'd like to do a small one in between. Am I allowed to say that? Can we just do like something we can shoot in six weeks and cut in three months? Yeah, that'll be good. <laughs> Going to 122 and then 57. Hi, Margaret. Congratulations. Hi. Um, you had talked about how you were not sure you wanted to do Mad Max initially because yeah. you didn't see yourself as cutting an action movie. Mm. Has this experience changed your mind about action genre? Yes, actually a lot of fun to cut. Um, and, you know, I've learned so much on it that I, I, you know, I just feel if I've cut, cutting this is extremely difficult film and I've, I just feel it'll be a shame, you know, not to take that knowledge onto another film really, yeah. 57 and then 92. Hi, Margaret, uh, congratulations on the win. Uh, I wanted to ask you about, um, the the, uh, the someone that you mentioned on stage and who went through the crawl underneath. Oh, did uh, you see that? I Jason, wondered whether it was happening. We did see them, yes. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. The gentleman I'm thinking about is Jason Ballantyne, yeah. who was uh, the editor, who listed as the editor yeah. of the film until as recently as I think March of last year. Yeah. Can you just talk about his role uh, and what he did in, in the film and what you know, what what might have changed? Oh, he just came on as an additional editor to help, you know, a few screenings and and then left, yep. We're going to 92 and then we'll end it with 79. Hi, right here. Congratulations. Yeah. Um, kind of going off what you said about women in Hollywood, but this movie, the sequel, you know, was an action movie with a feminist spin to it. Mm -hmm. So are there any other action movies out there that you think would be good to be told with a feminist spin? Uh, yeah, I'm never, I, quite honestly, I've never really thought about that. I mean, we have another action film with a feminist spin ourselves. But um, so that's about it, really, yeah. And then we'll end with 79. Right here. Um, does gender diversity in the editing room get enough attention? And uh, how could, what could the industry do to change that? You know, in our cutting room, we did um, pay attention to it. And um, my post supervisor, Matt, who's an amazing post supervisor, he did make an effort to hire women. So, you know, not all guys are bad. 